the Sacramento River. It's the longest in California. It's fed by the Trinity Alps and the Shasta Lake to the north. Now the smooth currents have a tranquil charm all its own, but don't be fooled. It's rated a class one on the international scale of river difficulty, but it only has occasional small waves. Usually it's clear passages and, and no serious obstacles. Now you put in a Jelly's Ferry above Red Bluff for a nine mile float down to Ben Bridge boat ramp. Along the way you will enjoy a landscape rich in natural and cultural history. The tranquility of the river belies the violent origins of the landscape through which it flows. The rocky cliffs and outcrops testify to the region's volcanic past. Remnants of lava flows can still be seen along stretches of the shoreline. Downriver you'll see just about everything. The shoreline changes from sandy beach to riverside forest to rocky cliffs and slopes. The lush riverside forest growing along the banks provides food and cover for wildlife. Stands of oak and cottonwood and willow are home to black-tailed deer, river otters, and an occasional bobcat. Osprey are common along the river, even nesting on an occasional power pole. And if you keep a sharp eye, you'll see deer browsing in the willows or maybe a turtle basking on a sandy bank. The majestic great blue heron fishes the shallows while a turkey vulture soars overhead. The Sacramento River is a magnet for those seeking to escape the summer heat. The cool blue-green water is attractive to swimmers and boaters who ply the current in kayaks and canoes and rafts. There is great shoreline fishing for salmon, and steelhead and trout and sandy stretches along the riverbank provide excellent sites for picnicking and camping, hiking and wildlife watching. Now don't forget native cultures lived along this portion of the Sacramento at one time. The Maidu and Wintu people left signs of their presence in the area, sometimes in very unusual places. Like the prehistoric petroglyph carved into this rock in the middle of the river, the images are silent testimony of a very different time. Now you may want to stop along the way and take a little hike. Overlooks along the Sacramento River offer a sweeping vista of the surrounding landscape. Now you, you see how the river has carved its way down through the volcanic rock? Now gaze down upon the meandering current and, and just listen to the sound of the water below. Take another moment to examine the gnarled bark of an oak or the delicate petals of a wildflower. Just relax and explore. The Sacramento River transports you to a different time and a different place.